We're bailing, baby. Oh, it's been a while since I've done this job. Got to be at least a couple months. And you know what? I don't actually miss it either. My neck hurts so much already. <laughs> oh. oh well. Free hay, so I cannot complain. to do three hoops round the outside and then the rest just straight up and down and that gives me enough turning room with the baler and, um, and all that but some fields don't allow you to do that this little one would never it wouldn't really work very well because it's a small I'm trying to do the three rows round is it's not gonna happen. So I'm uh, just gonna do two rows and have to be a bit fiddly with the bailo when I come to the end of the row but it's gonna be alright it's only a little small field so I'll have to lump it. Anyway, I can't moan because it's just free grass so free hay. Now I'm just gonna do a hoop down here. Um, because I'm gonna run off straight through the gateway over there. Um, just do the complete set. Straight up through. Sorry about the, the camera quality right now. Um, well, sorry, not the camera quality itself. The video video quality uh, or the camera camera filming skills are a bit crap because I'm trying to do three things at once um, but we're just gonna go straight up through this gateway and I'll rake it as I go through um, so it's probably maybe 20 minutes work to finish this build and then I'm gonna go Put my uh, put my bale on my other tractor and uh, and come back in bale up. Dog's just doing a bit of window cleaning. All right, so I'm just finished now. Now I'm gonna go and uh, get my baler and I'm gonna bale up whatever he doesn't want basically. There's a reasonable amount amount here. But this is his first cut this year. He only does one cut, you know, in the entire season, just for a little bit of hay for his goats and sheep and everything. So um, it's not too bad. It looks alright. It looks pretty dry. So hopefully it'll be be okay and I can make hay out of it. Otherwise I'll have to wrap it and then have haylage instead. But I'm not too bothered either way. So uh, yeah, pretty good. Well, welcome to the noisy tractor. Um, just started baling this. They've done half the field probably with the conventional baler. And um, well, I've just come to finish off with my baler. Um, and I'm gonna take the bells away. Because I raked that up for him. It's kind of like a payment for raking it up, I guess. Um, so it's just a bit of extra hay in case I need it. I adjusted the pickup on the baler the other day, which is good uh, if you want like a, a really clean finish, but it also slows you down quite a bit. And um, because it's so hilly in this field, it's so bumpy, I've got to go not dead slow, but like reasonably slow, otherwise it'll get its knickers in a twist and block up, uh, which is annoying. But, uh, I'm just going to pop a bale out in a minute. Oh. Do -do -do. Do -do see or not? There she goes. Like a proud father. <laughs> I'm 
on to the next one. some reason this corner of the field is really mossy um, and uh, perhaps that's binding it up I don't know or it is just because the pickup hips the uh, pickups a bit too low but uh, I, I adjusted it a bit and I picked it up off the floor just a teeny weeny bit to try and speed myself up and in places it works but down along this this head here it's been, um, it's been a bit of a hassle so annoying very, very annoying. But this trap has got sweet aircon, so uh, I'm pretty happy. Well, whoever done the raking up has done a pretty terrible job, I must admit. Jigs. It was me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh goddamn. I wasn't concentrating. We got a full bell. My bad. God, this is really hard to film. And, um, and bail at the same time, and concentrate on not blocking it up, and concentrate on the fact whether or not I got bail in there. Yeah, and make it look as if I'm doing a professional job when everyone knows I'm not. So, this bell might be a funny shape. But we'll see. Oh, she's good, look at it. Oh. So I got I got to concentrate on it not blocking up. I got to concent oh, I finished come to the end of the line. I was gonna say I got to concentrate on driving over the the swap so that I eat it all up. It's got to gobble all that grass up, and if I miss a bit, then people moan. So uh, yeah. Right. Oh, there's the old girl. You haven't seen that one before, have you? That is, that's my grandfather's tractor, actually. And uh, I'm just too stingy to buy a new one. She's looking a bit ropey, but I'm going to blame that on my grandfather because, well, he hit it, not me. So, yeah. Apart from that, she's doing all right. And she runs the bailer pretty well, actually. Um, it's always been on that tractor, so. Not too bad. We're just going to do a moisture test on Harry here, just to see whether Harry's got the right moisture content. Whether you can see that or not. Right, so you just stab him in, and then it will tell you 9.2, which is good. Although, you get a different reading if you go this way, so ah, pop him in there. Yeah, 10.1, see. That's good, that's good. So usually, I think, don't quote me on this, actually don't take any of my um, knowledge as advice, because I have not got the foggiest. So a 17.1, so that might just be a little hot spot there. A little moist spot, I just dab that in. Uh, yeah, don't take my, um, my knowledge as advice, but I'm pretty sure 15% moisture is good. And I'm pretty sure 15% moisture is acceptable for horses. Um, I usually, you know, if it's anywhere between 15 and 20, I'm happy. Um, I wouldn't stick it in my shed if it was above 20. I think if it goes above, um, what, say like 30, 35, you're probably going to burn your barn down. But, um, I mean, I've never had that happen before, but I've only been doing this a couple of years, so I'm not really that knowledgeable on it. But I'm going to test out this little bale over here. We shall call her Wendy and see um, see whether Wendy's moist. <laughs> Sorry, that was uh, that was an immature chick. Right? Oh, yeah, she's uh, <clears throat> she's pretty moist. 23%. <laughs> oh. oh. 
That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Probably a bit of the can't get me probing, Wendy. <laughs> um, it's probably a bit of heat of the day as well, so it's not the end of the world. So, yeah. Well, it's about ten o'clock, and um, I'm just finishing. I've had about forty bells, I think, overall. I'm leaving those ones there and those ones there because I think I might have to just wrap them up tomorrow. So I'm going to put them at the front in case, in case I do, in case they get a bit hot. They were reading about 29% moisture because it's late. I'm going to leave it now and then sort them out in the morning. But they might be all right. It might just be the heat of the day in the bale, but I'm not. 100% so don't know yet uh, we'll see if it happens with those ones there you can't really see because it's quite dark but um, it's about 70 ish um, hay, hay belts there but they're wrapped hay now because uh, the moisture was slightly too high everyone said to me oh can't make hay in May can't do it can't do it can't do it and I did, and I made about 130 bells, and about 70 of those bells were questionable, but the weather was turning on me, and um, I just had to get it done, so, yeah, I made hay in May, and it turned out all right, most of it. Some of it, sorry, some of it, um, I had to, I had to wrap, but out of all of it, I wasn't too concerned. It's really hard driving. I don't know how people do it. Driving and filming. Bloody difficult. Oh, I forgot to do my top though. That's annoying. So, I can't, I can't reach to the height, full height of the stack that I've got. So I've got like stab a bale in the side. And then um, and then lift them up full height. Basically, driving one under there. There you go. See what I mean? So it's not even that high. It stacks only like two, four belts high. But uh, I ain't got a loader, like a load or like a tally handler or whatever so this is like the only way to do it for me very gingerly poke them back on yeah that's that one right well this is gonna be it for me I didn't get around to my shed which is annoying but Always do it in the rain tomorrow, I guess. I think I'll be doing anything else. So, uh, yeah, well, thanks for watching. Because I always forget to say that. And um, I'll see you next time.